September the 13th, 1848, near Cavendish, Vermont. Just because a woman agrees to have a toe stepped on for one death doesn't mean she's in love with you. I suppose you're after thinking that she's taken by yourself? I haven't taken her out tonight. I'll ask her for you. You liar! I have to know that she's visiting her parents tonight. And how do you know that, may I ask? Because she can only see me tomorrow night. I don't believe it. Well, you can ask her yourself tonight. After it ain't last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go after this Dorothy myself. This is Phineas Gage. Yeah. Come on now. Get up there and you start cutting down that brush. Uh, Benjamin, you get over here and start leveling off this timber. I'll hop to it. Come on, you lock. What are you looking at? Got a lot of yards to make today. Time's money. Set in there, Billy. Gage is an intelligent, well-balanced man. Feeling better now, Gage? Yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. He's a modest and reliable person. He's in charge here because he can make careful, well-informed decisions. Everything ready, Billy? Yep. Good. Give her lots of sun, Billy boy. Lock the sun. Okay. Give her lots of sun. Hang it up, Jerry! Get back there! Both at once! Except if you want to be working here tomorrow. Normally, the two brain systems keep thought and emotion in equilibrium. James! James? a century and a half after Gage's accident, we can guess that his limbic system, frontal cortex, and the connections between the two were damaged by the passage of the tamping iron through his brain. The limbic system is now free to fire emotional messages without the restraint exercised by the frontal cortex. The young Edward Williams, a former railroad man himself, was the first doctor summoned. Science's great interest in Phineas Gage was in how the severing of his frontal cortex from his limbic system completely changed his behavior and character. Come on, Phineas. Let's take you up to bed. Oh, no. Leave me alone. I just want to stay outside. Phineas, you'd be better inside. I'm staying right here! It's Doc Williams. Who? Doc Williams. <laughs> Doc Williams. <laughs> he is working up for you, Doctor. <laughs> Gage's words were prophetic. His historic case sparked widespread curiosity into how physical changes in the brain affect behavior.